Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm gonna to be planting some more seeds. It is December 11th, so I'm in Texas. And in Texas here, we don't really have too many frosts. Now, last night, it did get down to 30 degrees. But there's a lot of plants that can be planted during this time here in Texas. But for the most part, almost all these veggies can grow throughout winter in some of the more southern areas of the United States. And even possibly in some northern areas with the right kind of protection if you're gonna cover them. So. Let's get to it and start planting. It is December 11th. So I like to mark these before planting. Okay, first, these are very important. So I'm gonna plant some leeks and bunching onions. And this is not only to be able to eat leeks and bunching onions, because I like them, but they're in the allium family. A lot of the pest bugs that we deal with in the garden do not like any of the alliums. They don't like the smell and it kind of deters them. Is it perfect? No, but it helps. And leeks can be grown all year round, um, even in the summer. Now, some varieties do a little better in the winter versus, you know, some better in the summer, but for the most part, leeks can be grown all year round, and I should have no trouble where I'm at growing these leeks all winter. And the thing about leeks is you can separate them out. If you have more than a couple shoots coming out, they are really easy to separate. Um, so I can definitely do that. So I'll probably get more than six leeks out of this six pack. And then the bunching onions is the same thing. You plant like 10, they grow together. They have no problem growing that close together. In fact, that's, that's what they do. Next, this seems like a weird one, but sage and mint. Sage generally does pretty well in the winter. Now I'm going to have to cover this if I get anything below probably 29 degrees, 30 degrees. Um, and that's possible here. I'm planting that anyway. Um, I really like sage and it's just something that I'm going to try and see if I can get to go. Um, the other thing is mint can handle cooler temperatures. Um, it will not live very well, but it can handle it. However, I'm going to put these in a pot because I don't want them to take over my garden. If you plant mint in the garden, it can completely take over the garden. It's really hard to get rid of, so I'm just going to keep it in a pot. That way I can put it up on my balcony if there is any kind of freeze, and that should be able to help keep it from dying in the winter. Next thing is winter time, which is basically kind of what we're used to. Um, there's the German time. There's French and German. Um, French tends to like warmer temperatures. The German is fine with the cold, so this should be able to handle it. Spinach and arugula, probably some of the most cold hardy that I'm gonna be planting today. And parsley, parsley is something that can handle really cold temperatures. And then I've got the different lettuces. So the Merlot, it's a red looking lettuce. Let me see if I can grab the packet here and show you. So here's a Merlot. So if a lettuce is a leaf lettuce, it generally does better in the winter. If it's red, it does better in the winter. If it's frilly, for some reason it does better in the winter. So this should be able to handle almost anything that Texas can throw at it. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh. The same thing with out outrageous. <laughs> That's also a red leaf lettuce, and that should handle for the same reasons. And then Merrillville, the Merrillville Four Seasons, this uh, handles just about anything as well. And there's the Merrillville Four Seasons. You can see it's got some red in it. Um, it's not quite as a frilly, you know, leaf, but this one should be able to handle it. And then mustard. I've got a spicy brown mustard. I do like mustard. I'm going to see if I can grow it and be able to collect the seeds and make my own ground mustard. So we'll give that a try. Also, I believe you can eat the, the leaves of this kind of mustard. I know for a fact some mustards are grown for their leaves. I believe you can do both with this uh, for the seed and the leaf. And there we go. Let's get planting. So really simple. I've got this little popsicle stick. I'm just going to make a little indents. Oh, and by the way, every time I plant something, even if it's just in the seed trays, at one point I'm going to have to transplant those out into the garden. And I don't want to have to go back to the seed pack and check the spacing on this. And so I always put the spacing at the top. It just kind of lets me know ahead of time. So anyway, I got this popsicle stick. I'm just making little, little holes. And it's an onion seed, so it's these black little flakes. I'll put like three or four in each hole. And like I said, I can, when these grow, I can separate them and then I'll get extra leeks. And I'm going to plant these in with other vegetables throughout the winter because it'll act like a natural pest repellent. And I'm just going to cover them lightly. They don't need to be really deep. Same thing with these bunching onions. We're going to plant quite a bit in each hole. I'm going to do a big pinch. They say 10 roughly per hole, but 
I'll just do a big pinch, it doesn't have to be exact. And the seed mix I'm using here is basically just coconut core mixed with a little bit of perlite, and that's it. I don't have any kind of nutrients in it or anything because after I plant, once they sprout and I'll start seeing sprouts, then I'll start giving it nutrients by watering beneath here. And I can give it some liquid nutrients, so I don't I don't give it any kind of fertilizer or anything in the in the beginning stages here. So parsley is funky. It's tough to get it to sprout. It's one of the longer sprouting. Sometimes you think it's just never gonna come. And it likes warmer temperatures to sprout. However, it grows really well in the winter. It doesn't like really warm temperatures to grow. So you know, this would be a good thing if you're gonna direct sow in the garden to plant during a hot spell, but kind of closer to the winter time. Now mint seeds, these are super tiny. And really in reality, you kind of don't want them super deep in the soil. I made those way too deep, forgot about that. They're really small little seeds. And it's hard not to get like 15 in there. So be careful you don't drop them in the other seed trays either. It's really easy to do. And thyme is another very small seed. Not quite as small. But still very small. Alright, so sage. They're much larger seeds. They're much easier to plant. I'll do two exactly per hole. All right, so the variety of spinach is a metador. I don't know, um, it's just what I've got. I do have another variety coming that I wanna try out, so we'll see. This is probably one of my favorites. I really like the flavor of this lettuce and the texture. It's a really good lettuce, Merrillville. Mustard seeds, what if you've ever been to a deli and you've eaten ground mustard? Basically, that's all it is. They use the seeds and they grind them up. Next, um, you're gonna wanna get a spray bottle. You can just get a regular like pump spray bottle. I got this, it's an automatic spray. My son has it for his lizards, but I'm borrowing it. But you definitely want to use a spray bottle because you do not want to use a hose and chance dislodging these seeds. So just spray them down pretty good and get the seed packets out of the way before I get some to grow inside the seed packet. We don't want that. And so once you spray down the top, you can just fill up the bottom tray and when these sprout i'll bring you guys back so it is december 28th most of these have now sprouted the thing i'm waiting for is the sage and the mint i do actually finally have some parsley coming up and this has come up in the last day or two the mint actually does have a couple small ones they're real hard to see the mint comes out real small at first and so pretty much everything has sprouted what's funny though is this outrageous lettuce um this one only a couple have sprouted i still don't have any in these that's interesting usually lettuce is very quick we'll have to give it a couple more days and see how it is but it has been way long so when i planted these it was december 11th and now it's the 28th that's quite a while for lettuce so i'm not sure what that's about uh the leek and the bunching onion here those have sprouted and they're doing really good so i've got 16 total maybe 17 ones coming up and I might have more that I could plant out in the garden by breaking them up. It is time though to thin these out. These are all the lettuces I planted a couple weeks before this tray and these have now gotten their second and third true leaves and it's time to thin them out. So I'm going to pick through here and look and make sure I pick the ones that are the best starts. So we'll cut a lot of them. I think I'm going to keep that one. I'll pull these aside and now instead of yanking these out which could disrupt the roots and hurt the the ones that are in there I'm cutting them and I'm using a really fine point scissor so I got all these trimmed down to one per section I will see you guys in the next video